Hi guys, Brendan Prince here from the event SUP12. This is the briefing video stroke safety video for the event. Uh, it's so much better to do it like this in that it's a lot more relaxed. You can go through it, you can replay it, you can watch it again. So all your questions are answered, plus you have all the knowledge you know need to stay safe uh, within the event on the Saturday. So this is why the format is like this. Um, I'm sitting comfortably. Hopefully you are watching this. So let's go through everything. First of all, then, Friday, the 12th of April, the day before the event, I'll actually be on site from about noon um, setting up. And the plan is to have everything set up before registration starts at 6 p.m. So registration will be on site. The actual site that we'll, we're doing the event on the promenade under the tents, that's where it will be because we can see everything that's going on and you'll be able to get a feel for it the day before. So you need to come to that registration anytime between six and nine to fill out your consent form, to pick up your event tee um, and also your event number. And we can just go through all your info to make sure everything is right for the day. Now, if you don't attend that registration, six till nine at Broad Sands, then you will have to do it on the Saturday morning. And we're allowing that. We're allowing that from six o'clock. But if 30 people turn up and want to register on the Saturday morning and there's only we're only going to put one person on that registration because it's really hard to get volunteers at that sort of time, um, then you'll just have to wait. And if you're not there for that start time, then you will miss that start time. You will be allowed, you know, I'm flexible. You will you will be allowed to start the, the race, but um, it might not be till half seven. So you have to understand that. And that's your responsibility to get yourself registered and do the things that we need to have done before race start at 7 a.m. I will give an initial uh, safety briefing at 6.50 for everybody ready to start with the latest information. And we'll also be telling you exactly if the courses will expect it to change or will change the course of the day and also which direction we'll be doing the course, which at the minute will be a clockwise direction. So um, that's Friday. And of course, Friday is nice and easy in that you ask as many questions as I like because I'm there and, and others will be there and it's relaxed and we can have a chat and all the rest of it. Um, so Saturday then, once the race has started, it'll be a mass start. So all competitors, we've got 120 signed up, um, but I think it will be around the 100 mark. Hopefully we'll have paddlers. A 20 or so have either injured or haven't trained or, or for whatever reason can't attend this year. Um, so we'll have about 100 paddlers starting on the sand. So they will start on the sand. Off they go to do their laps. Now, if there are any dramas whilst you're out on the water, if there are any dramas, sit yourself down on the board, big wave with arm or paddle for the water safety team to come over and just find out what it is. And there could be many reasons why you just need assistance. Um, but if you obviously need a medical assistance or we need to bring you in, the, the boat team, the safety boat team can bring you back into the start of which we then have a paramedic and a full safety medical team on the beach, uh, ready to help uh, and, and guide and deal with any situation that might happen. So that's really important to know. Um, obviously to get onto the board, to start the race, the basics all have to be in place. So you are, have to, you're only allowed to bring one board with you, but of course you can change that board through the course of the event by trying someone else's. And I want this to, to be something that we embrace in that you can swap and change your board with someone else for a lap to try someone else's board. What a great way to do a demo on a board. Plus I'll have some demo boards there from different brands that you are welcome to use, but only for one lap. So you can only borrow someone else's board, try someone else's board for one lap, then you have to give it back. Um, and likewise, if you swap boards, then you just, you just swap back. And the same thing applies for paddles um, to encourage that because what a great way to try other boards and other paddles in the course of your 12 hours uh, of racing. Um, so once you're on the board, you need to make sure you've obviously got your, your buoyancy aid. Now that can be a traditional buoyancy aid or it can be an inflatable type buoyancy aid. And likewise, you must have a leash and that can be 
uh, an ankle leash or it can also be a waist leash. That's totally up to you, but you have to have those both things. Lots of people will be taking water on the board and that's absolutely fine. And I know um, there's been perhaps some confusion over this, but it's basically for insurance purposes, you can't eat on the board. And eating is also uh, a thick milkshake in a drinks bottle. That's classed as eating. That's classed as fueling rather than hydration. So, you know, we're not going to be checking people's bottles, but please just respect that, that it's clear liquids uh, for drinking purposes whilst out on the water. And the whole point is when you come into the rest station, that's where you do the fueling. That's where you do your eating um, on the safety of the land. Make sure you have appropriate clothing for the for the whole of the day. Now, the way it looks at the minute, actually, there'll be minimal wind all morning, but that will, will progressively build as it often does, um, but not nothing extreme on that. And it should be relatively warm, but obviously you need the appropriate clothing to change through the course of the day to make sure that you stay nice and warm and, 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 and race able through the course of the day. So whatever that is that you need to have, you please make sure you've got that to stay warm and race able through the course of the whole 12 hours, including if you're falling in lots, you can deal with that whenever you come in. Um, on your rest section between the laps. Toilets. So we will have four toilets available for all competitors um, right in the rest areas. So you'll be able to use those. Um, only competitors are allowed to use those. So anyone coming to watch, they have to use the public toilets and they are pay toilets. I think they're 30 pence to use on those. We could do nothing to get over that um, it's it's a hard nut to crack that one and unfortunately they have to be paid for um, at board sands so what else have we got to look at um, there is no music allowed on the boards uh, the whole point is it's you against the 12 hours and and to chat and to mingle um, and I know through experience sometimes it can be great to lose a few hours because you're listening to music and I'm just not allowing that because it's all about being part of the race in the race and facing up to the race and those 12 hours without any aids like music. Your numbers can be worn on the front or they can be worn on the, the leg groin area. That's totally up to you, but it has to be somewhere on the front. Um, you have to wear your race tees. So they can be underneath your buoyancy. They don't have to be over the top of the buoyancy because that can obviously cause some discomfort, but they have to be worn um, at all times. So the rest area, um, this is the, the whole point of the race. To have to come in after every lap is the whole point of the race. What that does, is, it's great for us to monitor all the participants, but what it does for you is you have to make a decision. Are you going straight through the race area and straight back out on the board? Or are you staying for a nibble and a chat? And, and that, that can make or break your race. It's too easy to want to stop. It's too easy to think, well, I'll just stop for a minute here. And that minute turns into five minutes. And, and that's the whole point. It is, it's a play with your mind. And, th and that's why I constructed the race like I have to do exactly that. Now, you will make great friends through the course of this day because you'll have those great opportunities to have chats with people. But you've got to decide, are you racing all day? Are you just doing what you want to do? And then that gives you plenty of time to, to chat and be in the rest areas. But understand that, and but also understand that some people will want to race through. So please be respectful of the people racing through. Now, the rest areas will be equidistant for everybody. So it doesn't matter where you set yourself up. And while I'm not setting those up for you, you can go wherever you like in the rest race, rest areas. Um, but I, they're not set up for you and you can choose and it's the same distance for everybody. So um, whether it's registration on the Friday or the Saturday morning, you set your area up with the people you want to be with and, and that's all cool. Ball butlers. So we will have a number of ball butlers to help you when you're coming in and going back out again, just to hold your board, to look after your board, to stow your board whilst you're doing your thing. Now, 
there's a lot of you um, and we're trying to get as many ball battlers as we can but there might be times where they can't help you at all and there might be plenty of times hopefully that they can help with you and what they'll probably ask is are you going straight back out and what that means is if you're just going straight through the, the rest area and coming straight back onto your board they'll probably just hold it for you but if you are actually stopping but I'm going to be 10 minutes I'm going to have a break then they'll actually use your leash on your board to stow your board um, on the lines, the safety lines that we're putting there, or just on the sand, depending on the state of the tide. So please be respectful for the board butlers. They're there to help you um, and they'll do their best for you in the conditions. Um, so please give them a smile and thank them if they're helping. Um, that would be awesome. Paddling on your knees. So um, at any time, for whatever reason, you can get down on your knees and take a rest but you're not allowed to paddle on your knees this year and gain any forward distance so paddling on your knees to just get yourself sorted and whatever you, you might be doing but you're not allowed to make any distance with that if you want to be a podium finisher if you're not interested you're not going to finish first um, you're not going to be up there in 25 30 laps um, you're there, You perhaps it might be to just do six laps or to, to hit that goal of 20 laps. If you paddle on your knees, you cannot podium finish. So that's up to you. Um, there might be sometimes that you think I want to, and some of you might paddle on your knees and I don't mind that and I respect that, but you can't then get a podium finish if you have paddled on your knees. Um, likewise with drafting, um, you know, just be sensible about it. If you're sitting on someone's tail, um, be respectful and say, you know, sorry, I'm on your tail. I'll, I'll just move off to the side or at least a board's distance between you. Um, you know, don't get dragged along by somebody else um, and that won't be allowed. So we'll just say, um, just give yourself a bit of room and we'll give you a couple of warnings on that. And likewise, if there's two or three of you chain gannick taking it in turns, we can see that, then we'll just say, no, it's an individual race. So make sure you separate. And we'll just be sensible. We'll be sensible. You be sensible. Respect that. And there won't be any issues with drafting on each other. Um, so what else? The event will be covered by uh, Sup Junkie and Sup FM. So they might be stopping you and asking for uh, to answer questions or in interviews. And, and if you're cool with that, brilliant. Um, please engage with those guys because... You know, we want as many supporters uh, and people who can't necessarily be there to watch what's going on. It will be a great event for that. And there's so many of you, so many interesting people paddling that there will be some really cool stuff that will come out of that. But again, if you don't want to, then just say, sorry, not this time um, and crack on and they'll respect you for that. That's no problems. So everybody will get a medal at the end of the event. And this year, the medals will be given to you as you finish. Now, you've got to make a decision. It may, let's say it's one minute to seven. You can stay where you are and not go out. But if you go out at one minute to seven, the hooter will sound at 7 p.m. Now, you finish your lap that you're, you've started when the hooter goes at 7 p.m. So you can get that extra lap in if you want, if you want to really go for it. Now, if there are two competitors or more, on the same amount of laps when the hooter goes and you're out there, then let's say there's three of you on 30 laps, then that's when it becomes a race because the first person to finish that final lap will be the overall winner uh, and the other two will obviously play, play second and third. So it turns and it can be really exciting and last year was exactly that. It can be a really exciting finish depending on how many are out there on that final lap or the same amount of laps um, when that's 7 p.m. Hooter goes. So everyone will get their medal and then there will be uh, winning places this year, male and female, first, so one place only, so first for male and female, under 39s, 40 to 49s and 50s and over. So first place, male and female for each of that. There'll also be a first place, male and female for the fastest lap. So if you're going for the fastest lap, you have to remember it's not just the paddle, but it's actually getting to the mat um, to make sure that does the timing because you'll all have tags 
and it's when you go over the mat that those timers will collate and, and work out your timings for the lap. Um, what's really good this year being at Broadsands is the parking situation is dead easy. So there are height barriers, but we've got the keys to obviously let you in for that. And we'll be letting people in from six o'clock on the Friday. And if you want to stay in the car park, our specific car park, then you can stay overnight on both nights. Obviously, it not being an official car park, please make sure nothing is disposed in the hedge rows. You keep everything with you and take it away with you afterwards. Otherwise, we won't be allowed to do it again um, next year. So, and that car parking is free. So if you're just, if you're turning up for the day, you're not staying over on the night, you can come in on the Saturday morning, park up. It's a specific car park area for us and us only. And then we'll keep that closed all day long and it won't, won't be open again until seven o'clock that obviously that night. Um, once we've finished the race and we've given out all the medals, um, everybody gets a pint. So the, you know, it should be a, quite a nice evening. Um, I'm staying there and, and obviously uh, a, a, quite a few others are staying there overnight. Um, so it could be quite a, a cool vibe. And unfortunately, we can't go to a location just because I couldn't I couldn't get to any location before nine o'clock um, by the time we've taken everything down. And most of you, because you've been paddling for 12 hours, don't really want to just hang around like that. It, it wouldn't work out. So we're going to do the kind of after party straight away. Um, after the event finishes, give the medals, give the prizes out, a beer for everybody and just chill there. Um, and those that are staying will obviously stay on site and those that are, are, are going off will probably make their way by half, half eight, nine o'clock, something along those lines. Really looking forward to Saturday and all the entails of 12 hours of racing. There's an awful lot of supporters coming to watch the event. Um, the sponsorship has been amazing this year including our headline sponsor, which is Paddle UK, which is a great one to have for all of us to understand that they are fully on board with promoting stand-up paddleboard racing uh, and an, an endurance racing of this nature. So if there are any more questions, um, write them all down, bring them with you at registration. But uh, as we are, 